Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Melissa, if you're new here. I just wanted to make a really quick video. Um, you know, today is Monday for me. I don't know when you're watching this, but right now it's Monday, which means I'm going to start a diet because I've gained about 15 pounds, 15, 20 pounds um, during this quarantine. And for me, when I am trying to lose weight, the big thing is snacking. I snack all day long and so i need to make sure that i have healthy snacks that are available to me that fit within my macro so that i don't completely blow my diet for the day okay so these are really simple this isn't any fancy you know TikTok recipes this is just regular old stuff that i like everything is under well everything except for one thing is under 50 calories per serving so you can go crazy Throw them in there. It'll satisfy your sweet tooth, salty tooth, crunchy tooth, whatever kind of tooth, teeth you have. Okay, so let's get into the first one. Okay, so the first thing one of the snacks that I like to make is popcorn. Um, I like this one, Skinny Pop, it's the sea salt. So per, um, per bag, it's 130 calories and 17 carbs, but we, I don't have the whole bag. I just have a cup of it and I portion them out into these little portion control, portion control snack bags. I got these at Target. And then I just have them lined up and I, they are ready for me when I want to have a salty snack. I also like to add um, this ranch seasoning to the popcorn. This seasoning is uh, two calories per quarter teaspoon. I'm not gonna take out a measuring spoon and measure out a quarter teaspoon. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on there, okay? So this is how I make it. First thing, pop your popcorn. snack bags are approximately, I don't know if you can see that, one, one cup. Since these bags are flat and the popcorn obviously is not, it's probably going to be a little less than a cup for each bag. So you're about less than 25 calories per snack bag of popcorn. throw in your purse and your bag when you're leaving the house put them in your car and it's really good since we're on the topic of oh man you know what I didn't mention is don't mind my hair went to the gym this morning ran some errands came home and just started filming so I'm a mess but whatever I'm sharing yummy snacks with you so since we're on the topic of popcorn I came across these skinny pop mini cakes uh, popcorn mini cakes and this is sharp cheddar flavor this is for 20 cakes you 20 cakes you get um 120 calories and about uh, 10 net carbs three grams of protein so if you just have 10 of these you're looking at about 60. you're looking at about 60 calories per serving and they're pretty good so they're about this size here. So let me show you what the amount or the, the way 10 of them would look, the volume. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a, 
pretty good sized snack. Man, I don't know why I am decided to do this video because I'm gonna be snacking the whole time. Okay, so that was the only thing that is over 50 calories that I have for snacks. Now, of course, no diet is complete unless you have pickles. So these pickles are dill pickles. And it says for two thirds of a pickle, who eats two thirds of a pickle, is zero calories and one carb. So literally, you can use whole damn jar if you want to. But they're pretty good size. So usually, you know, when I want something kind of sour, salty, crunchy, this will do the trick. You can have as many as you want. All right, another um, salty snack that I like are almonds. Nuts in general are kind of tricky for me because, you know, they're so small, you're used to just having like a handful and just eating them. Well, for about, let's see, 28 grams, so that's about 28 nuts. It's 170 calories. There's only about two carbs, so it's a good uh, low carb choice, and six grams of protein. So if you're trying to keep, you, keep your calories low, um, you could have about eight, wal eight walnuts. These are freaking almonds. Eight almonds for your snack. It's not a huge snack, but if you just, if you just need something crunchy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Dang, I pulled eight right out of the bag. Okay, so let me show you. That's what eight almonds looks like. All right, my next go-to snack when I want something sweet are these red seedless grapes. They're so sweet and crunchy and you can have about 12 grapes to keep them under 50, 50 calories. So what I like to do, I like to put these in the freezer. So I'll take about 12 grapes, put them in the little baggies here and toss them in the freezer. And when I want something cold and sweet, I just grab these and good to go. Now the last snack, I'm sure is probably not everybody's favorite, but it's one of my favorites. And it's sliced cucumbers and tahini. So I like the low sodium tahini. This is two calories for a quarter teaspoon. This is basically all sodium, it's all salt. So if you are trying to watch your salt intake, this is probably not, this is probably not a good snack option for you. A low sodium alternative option would be to sprinkle cinnamon on these. I know it sounds weird, but it's, it's pretty good. So this is how I prepare these. So you, I could literally eat this whole cucumber and it would be about 45 calories um, for like a medium size cucumber. I usually only cut off, um, you know, this much for a snack, but then I just keep this in the fridge and then if I'm wanting more throughout the day, I'll just keep cutting more slices off of this. And if you haven't tried this before, you should try it. The reason I like it is because the cucumber provides the, the coolness and the crunch. And then the tahini gives you the salty, a little bit of spicy. It's not really spicy at all, but like a salty seasoned flavor. And sometimes it just, it's just what I'm craving. So there you go. There are my five goat, well, I guess it's really six because I had those um, skinny pop. One, two, three, four, yeah. Those are the five snacks that I always stick to when I am 
starting a diet and trying to lose weight. I know there's a ton of other low calorie, low carb snacking options, um, depending on what your diet or what your nutritional needs are. Um, this is just what I like. This is stuff that works for me. I like having this on hand so that I have something readily accessible for me to snack on when I want to snack. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I am really trying to be more consistent and I would like to at least upload a video once a week. So if you'd like to see what I'm up to, click that bell so you can be notified. Thank you so much for watching and let me know down in the comments, you know, what are some of your go-to snacks for when you're dieting that are low calorie or low carb? Let me know if you have an idea for a video that you would like me to film. One that I was thinking about filming is doing a, a snack swap. So I don't want to say unhealthy, but maybe an indulgent snack or meal that you like. I will try to recreate a lower calorie version of that and kind of compare how it tastes because if it involves eating food, count me in. I'll see you next time.